Hello everybody, it's Okami817 from Team Monster to the Wind with a laggy world. It was laggy. It seems, excuse me. Um, is my, yeah, my mic's on. Uh, I've been so angry with my mic. I guess I wouldn't be that angry, but enough of that. Um, this is a, another Technic Pack Let's Play. No cheating, I'm gonna play it on easy. I don't normally play anything about easy, so count your blessings I'm playing it on easy. Typically, I'm playing it on peaceful. That's beside the point. Um, also, another thing that I'm going to do with this uh, series is make it kind of a funny, you know, make it a little more interesting by doing things like uh, making like new, funny news stories, weird, odd news stories, etc. You know, just um, you know, just to break things up. I just so I have like I'm still looking for a third one, so. I'll probably cut the camera and do that after this, but um, I just wanted to say um, I got a a um, I already started the world and I figured I'd get some of that lag out and fix stuff up. And I said, you know, I'm gonna turn this into a let's play. So here we are. Um, just breaking out a little bit of a home. Probably gonna do one more little wall back here to give me some space and get some cobblestone. Then I'm going to make a cobblestone pickaxe and start mining. Um, also, there's a village up a little ways. I think you can go check that out. So, yeah. I'm going to make sure to pull one of these off. Pull one of these off. So, I'm going to pull this back to here. I'm going to leave it. Um, I'll make a stone axe to go. I'm going to go gather some wood real quick. And here's the best part, timber, and all, all the wood is gone. Yeah, it's hard I'm not talking loud enough, guys. Uh, hold up, I'm gonna make sure I'm able to talk loud enough. Oh, I forgot about the music. Sound, turn that down a little bit. So, anyways, as far as my last Minecraft Let's Play series, it's gone. I deleted pieces of it. You're not going to see it ever again. Reason being is because one, it was taking up space. Two, it just, just I was trying to do something. I deleted everything. I'm not going to lie. Minecraft over. I ran out of stuff to do too. Keep in mind. Can't see now. Sorry guys if you can't see. I'm trying to just real quickly find some some sort of coal. If not, I'm just going to use charcoal. I don't. I sometimes use charcoal. Depends on how quickly I can find if I can find coal quickly. I might start out with charcoal, but typically it drives me nuts because then it, it it's like you got two different things in your inventory. Which do I use? Well, let's go use some charcoal. Let's go take some of this wood and turn it into charcoal. Um, first, in order to do that, we need to make a furnace. So let's do that. So anyway. Our, I've never I actually haven't read these stories yet. I've just kind of looked at them at a glance. And I think the first one I'm going to do is Daughter Picks Winning Lottery Ticket. Uh, I just Google search for weird stories. So if you've heard it before, yeah. But, um. I'm just get through. There's nothing there. Uh, so, Daughter Picks Winning Lottery Ticket. The list of ways your chil ways of ruining your children is a trillion miles long and middle, mixed in the middle of reading bedtime stories too scary and comparing kids there is this gem having your child select the winning lottery numbers imagine that um i can imagine that the mother does not want i can wait it's fortune telling time the mother does not want to get or father does not want to give the winning lottery number to to um to well her daughter because pff, roof over the head and everything um two year old because and actually this actually worked for I can't pronounce the name two year old daughter Afshin I think your name is weird name I guess two year old daughter Anaya touched a lottery ticket so Naya's mother purchased it and guess what it won a million dollars the mother said the only reason I picked the lottery 
uh, ticket was because she had touched it. Uh, so she is lucky. So now this is going to sit over her eyes head for the rest of her life. She is a lucky charm. Well, oh no, I say well. We now wonder if Anaya will work more miracles for her parents. Anaya, do it again. Choose the Powerball for me. Anaya, which pair of socks will I wear today? You pick. You pick for me. You're luck. You're lucky. Luck is a scary thing to a child. To hang on a child, because they have absolutely no control of it. This may be the only lucky thing for the rest of her life. Yeah. Um. Doesn't say anything about what the parents are gonna do with it. Uh, what is strange thing, always knowing that your family sees thirty thousand dollars of free income just because she happened to give a lottery ticket. Oh, it was one of those instant wins. Okay. Well, that was weird. But I don't. I don't. It doesn't sound like they're not going to give it to her when she gets older. Maybe. Lucky dog go. Um. So anyway, I'll read the next story that I have up in a moment. I'm just. So right now I'm just obviously crafting torches, just trying to get some stuff up. Uh, I'll keep in mind I have industrial craft here, so, and it's dark now, so we're done mining trees. Now, I read some tips on something in industrial craft as far as getting resources. You're going to need a lot of coal. Coal is a big thing, so let's head down here and start placing torches and start mining. So you can get some coal, some iron. What I find is most useful in industrial craft, as far as resources go, is, if I had to be perfectly honest, I'd say, well, redstone is a big one. Iron is another big one. Uh, copper and tin is pretty close behind. And speaking of the devil, um, so anyway, there, there's our copper. We got our, we got some copper here. I'll take that up and smelt it in a little bit. I just want to continue mining a little bit. What the? Okay. I thought I was like was confused there for a moment. Um. Now, if I get interrupted, excuse me. That is probably going to be my mother who will interrupt me, saying, "Oh, it's time for breakfast, or it's time for let's go get dressed and go out." She drags me out to dinner every day, you know. You can imagine, in the same place, mind you. I mean, going out to eat a little often isn't such a bad thing. It's just the same place. Uh, right now it's Saturday, so, um, you know, you run you run out to uh, eat every Saturday. You, know, you can imagine it gets kind of boring. You just, same, I mean, it's not bad, but, you know, I just I like to stay home and play computer, and then there's nothing else to do as well. You know, just, you know, I want to play computer, and then, just, whatever, what are you going to do? So, um, got some coal now, that's good. Uh, I'm going to smelt that, and uh, I'm going to start doing some smelting. And then, oh, more copper, good for me, good to go to gumdrops. Good to go to gumdrops. I'm just going to mine this out, and then I'll use this cavity in here to place my new, um, or not. I'll use this cavity to place my new torch here. This way we have a torch hooked up again. Yeah, but let's say okay guys, let's say you let's say your mother went out to um you know, no matter how old you are, as long as you're under eighteen we'll say. Since you know, or under the legal and gambling age in your area where you'd buy your tickets. If your mother said, "Hey, pick out a lottery ticket. I want, I want, you know, just, just pick one out. You know, just, just, you know, you, you know," and it actually won a decent amount of money. We're talking at least hundred grand. Um, and it won. What do you think? Your would you? What do you think? First off, if your parents said, "No, you can't have the money." Would you fight for it? Would you at? Would you pursue trying to get the money that? Would you believe you deserve that money and pursue it? Furthermore, and we're going back up. Furthermore, if you, you know, in this case, if you were, you know, it, would your mother even give it to you? You know, so just leave questions, leave answers to those two questions. Um, like again, what it, what would. You, would your mother give it to you? And if so, 
And if not, would you fight for it? You know, do you think your mother would give you the money that that you picked out for them? Or um, and if and if not, would you fight to ask for it? Or do you believe that their shelter and whatnot is enough? I'm not saying that's a bad thing or a good thing. You know, just you know, it's good, bad, and different. Would you would you try and could persuade them at least to to give you the money that you may that you may or may not think you deserve. You never know. But um so anyway we got some fish here. Might as well let's see how my hunger's doing. Um oh, it's doing alright. I could go a little bit longer. Uh so anyway, moving on to my next story, it goes like this. Everyone wants an iPhone. There's a song about it, okay? I hate my life and I want to die. I ain't got no iPhone. Actually, it's funny. The first time I, th I heard that song, I thought the guy was serious. Then then after I explained, I'm like, well, it's, why would I think that? And not like, who would be serious about such a thing? Well, I found my candidate. Chinese teen sells kidney for to buy iPhone, iPad, comma, iPad. I don't get what that's there. Till we read it. Authorities have indicated five people in central China for involvement in illegal organ trading after the teenager after a teenager sold one of his kidneys to buy an iPhone and an iPad. The case has prompted an outpouring of concern and is that is not enough that not enough is being done to guard against negative impact of increasing consumerism in Chinese society particularly among young people who have grown up with more, with more creature comforts than the generations before them. Prosecutors of the city of, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that name, charge their suspects with, intentionally, with intentional injury for, organize, for organizing the removal and transplant of a kidney from a 17-year-old high school student surnamed Wang. The official, I can't, not... I, I'm telling you, some of these names of places, Blank News Agency said late Friday, a woman on duty Saturday at the, again, it's the same one, the first one we had pronounced, I, I'll send, I'm going to put links to all these things in the description so you can, so you can see these stories and read them so you don't have to worry about meaning the names and whatnot, uh, districts people, uh, <laughs> Districts People's Per... Uh, is that... Procuratory? What the heck? I'm sorry, guys. I'm... 16. I've never seen this word. Give me a moment. Procuratory. Okay, close enough. Um, I'm waiting for these spiders to go away so I can build... I have to go get some wood to build a chest. Didn't think to do that. Um, in in human In Hunan... Oh, it's another province. Okay, I don't feel so bad now because I only mispronounced one word that I was supposed to know. Uh, confirm that prosecutors are ha are handling this case, the case, and that the defendants are facing charges of intentional injury. She refused to give her name and referred further questions to the city little procurators. Oh, what is, what is that? I'll have to look that up. Uh, media office where phone calls rang unanswered. The defendants include a surgeon, a hospital contractor, brokers who looked for donors online and leased an operating contact to, proceed, to conduct the procedure. It is said 1.5 million people in China need an organ transplant, um, but that only 10,000 transplants are performed each year, fueling the illegal trade in organs. Um, well, before I continue, imagine that. Giving away a bodily organ for an iPhone. Obviously, <laughs> he didn't want to kill himself, but he he hated his life and wanted to die. I, I mean, obviously, this is a prime example of the song. The only difference is he didn't kill himself. Instead, he gave away an organ. You know how they say, "I'd give I'd give any limb on my body for that." Well, I guess they don't really say that, but it sounds like something somebody would say. Well. You know, as a figure of speech, I don't think this guy got the memo. It's a figure of speech. Yeah, I mean, not much more to say. Ooh, iPhone. Maybe, maybe, maybe contraband get me iPhone. I'm sorry. I, I mean, that may. I, you know, you have to do the voice. That's kind of the whole package. Um. So what's? So that's about it for my stories. And as for the episode, I think we're just about done. Um. 
there's not much else going on. I'm out of wood. So I'm just going to be sitting here till daytime. So that's it for this episode. Make sure you comment, rate, subscribe, and um, heads. And I'll probably cut to the day next for the next episode. But um, one more thing while we're waiting. Um, what is the limit on what you would sell to get an iPhone? Obviously, this guy's limit may have been his body himself. Or is it a he or her? I don't even know. Um... But um, obviously, this person's limit was when, when, when you know when he started having this, you know, he just wouldn't sell his full body as a package, you know. Um, but what would your limit be? What would you sell if you could to get an iPhone? What is the, the the most prized possession, be it body or whatever, you know, the most important thing that you think you would sell if you want if you didn't have an iPhone and you wanted one? Because chances are people have iPhones now, you know, and you guys have iPhones, but you never know, so if you have one, just pretend like you don't, what would you sell, out of what you own right now, what would you sell, leave a comment again in the, in the, in the, so it's three questions for you guys, um, go back for the first two, and, um, till next time.